Chapter 1. The Day the Stars Fell It began with a flash of light, a brilliant blaze that streaked across the night sky like a harbinger of doom. For millennia, humanity had gazed up at the stars with wonder and awe, dreaming of what lay beyond the bounds of their own world. But on that fateful day, the stars came crashing down, bringing with them a wave of destruction that would forever alter the course of history. As the alien invaders descended upon Earth, their ships blotting out the sun with their monstrous silhouettes, chaos erupted in the streets below. Panic and fear gripped the hearts of the populace as they fled for their lives, their cities reduced to rubble in the blink of an eye. Amidst the devastation, a small band of survivors emerged, their spirits unbroken despite the horrors that surrounded them. Led by Captain Sarah Reynolds, a former soldier turned reluctant leader, they banded together in a desperate bid for survival. With each passing day, the invaders tightened their grip on the planet, their advanced technology and overwhelming numbers, leaving humanity powerless to resist. But Captain Reynolds and her ragtag band refused to surrender, determined to fight tooth and nail for every inch of ground, no matter the cost. As they scavenged for supplies and evaded patrols, they began to uncover hidden reserves of strength and resilience within themselves. Bonds forged in the crucible of adversity grew stronger with each passing hardship, uniting them in a common cause, the drive to reclaim their home planet from the clutches of the alien invaders. But as they prepared to make their stand against the encroaching darkness, a glimmer of hope flickered on the horizon, for in the hearts of those who dared to defy the odds, there burned a fire that could never be extinguished, a determination to rise from the ashes and reclaim their rightful place among the stars, and so as the sun set on the shattered remnants of civilization, humanity stood on the brink of a new dawn, ready to face whatever challenges the future may hold with courage and resilience. For in the darkest of times, it is often in the face of adversity that the true strength of humanity shines brightest. Chapter 2. The Resilience of Hope In the aftermath of the initial onslaught, humanity found itself scattered and fractured, its once proud civilization reduced to little more than rubble and ash. But amidst the desolation, a glimmer of hope refused to be extinguished. Captain Sarah Reynolds and her band of survivors pressed on, their spirits buoyed by the flickering flame of defiance that burned within their hearts. With each passing day, they scavenged for supplies and fortified their makeshift stronghold, preparing for the inevitable clash with the alien invaders. As they worked tirelessly to rebuild what had been lost, they encountered others who shared their determination to resist. From the ashes of despair, a network of resistance fighters emerged, their ranks swelling with each new recruit who dared to stand against the tidy of oppression. Among them was Dr. Mikhail Chen, a brilliant scientist whose expertise in alien technology proved invaluable to the cause. With his guidance, Captain Reynolds and her comrades salvaged and repurposed whatever scraps of technology they could find, fashioning makeshift weapons and defences to bolster their chances of survival. But as the days stretched into weeks and the alien occupation tightened its grip on the planet, morale began to waver. Despair threatened to consume them as they faced the harsh reality of their situation, outnumbered and outgunned at every turn. It was in those darkest of moments that Captain Reynolds found herself tested like never before. With the weight of the world on her shoulders, she rallied her troops with words of encouragement and acts of selflessness, reminding them that even in the face of overwhelming odds, hope was not lost. And so, as they braced themselves for the coming storm, Captain Reynolds and her band of survivors stood united in their defiance, ready to face whatever challenges the future may hold. For in the depths of despair, it is often the smallest spark of hope that lights the way forward, guiding humanity towards a brighter tomorrow. Chapter 3. A Beacon in the Darkness As the alien occupation tightened its grip on Earth, pockets of resistance flickered like stars in the night sky, each one a beacon of hope amidst the encroaching darkness. Among these resilient bands of survivors, Captain Sarah Reynolds and her comrades stood as a shining example of courage and determination. In the heart of their fortified stronghold, hidden beneath the ruins of a once great city, 
Captain Reynolds and her team worked tirelessly to bolster their defences and plan their next move. With each passing day, they grew stronger, their resolve unshakable in the face of adversity. But as whispers of dissent and despair spread through the ranks, Captain Reynolds knew that morale was beginning to falter. Fear and uncertainty gnawed at the edges of their resolve, threatening to tear apart the fragile bonds that held them together. It was in those darkest of moments that a glimmer of hope emerged from the shadows. A message encrypted and coded found its way to Captain Reynolds, bearing news of a potential ally in the fight against the alien invaders. With a sense of courteous optimism, Captain Reynolds and a small team set out into the ruined streets of the city, their footsteps echoing in the silence of the night. Guided by the encrypted coordinates provided in the message, they navigated through the labyrinthine maze of rubble and debris, their senses alert for any sign of danger. At last they reached their destination, a hidden underground bunker, shielded from prying eyes by layers of reinforced steel and concrete. There, they were greeted by a group of resistance fighters, their faces grim but determined. Among them was Commander Marcus Lee, a grizzled veteran of countless battles against the alien invaders. With his guidance, Captain Reynolds and her team learned of the resistance's plans to strike back against the occupation, launching coordinated attacks on key enemy strongholds in a bid to reclaim lost territory. As they listened to Commander Lee outline the details of the operation, Captain Reynolds felt a renewed sense of purpose wash over her, for in the face of overwhelming odds, she knew that they were not alone, that there were others out there who shared their determination to fight for freedom and justice. With the dawn of a new day on the horizon, Captain Reynolds and her comrades prepared to join forces with the Resistance, ready to take the fight to the alien invaders and reclaim their home planet from the clutches of tyranny. For in the darkest of times, it is often the smallest acts of defiance that spark the flames of revolution, lighting the way towards a brighter tomorrow. Chapter 4. The Liberation Offensive Under the cover of night, Captain Sarah Reynolds and her band of resistance fighters prepared to launch their daring assault against the alien occupiers. Their hearts pounded with a mixture of anticipation and fear as they geared up for battle, their determination unwavering despite the odds stacked against them. With Commander Marcus Lee at their side, they reviewed their plans one last time, ensuring that every detail was accounted for. Their objective was clear, to strike a decisive blow against the alien invaders and reclaim a strategic stronghold that had long been lost to humanity. As they moved out into the darkness, their footsteps silent against the cracked pavement of the ruined streets, Captain Reynolds felt a surge of adrenaline course through her veins, this was their moment to make a stand, to show the world that humanity would not go down without a fight. The journey to their target was fraught with danger, as they skirted around enemy patrols and navigated through the twisting labyrinth of debris-strewn alleyways. But with each obstacle they overcame, their resolve only grew stronger, fueling their determination to succeed against all odds. At last, they reached their destination, a fortified enemy outpost nestled amidst the ruins of a once thriving metropolis. The air crackled with tension as they surveyed the scene before them, their weapons at the ready, their eyes fixed on the looming silhouette of the enemy stronghold. With a signal from Commander Lee, the assault began in earnest. Explosions ripped through the air as resistance fighters launched grenades and fired off salvos of gunfire. Their attacks coordinated and precise. The enemy, caught off guard by the ferocity of the assault, scrambled to mount a defence, but it was too late. With Captain Reynolds leading the charge, the resistance fighters stormed the outpost with a relentless determination, their shouts of defiance echoing through the night. Against all odds, they fought tooth and nail for every inch of ground, driving the enemy back with a ferocity born of desperation. As the battle raged on, Captain Reynolds found herself face to face with a towering alien warrior, its eyes ablaze with hatred and malice. With a defiant roar, she lunged forward, her blade flashing in the dim light as she engaged the enemy in a fierce duel. But even as the odds seemed insurmountable, Captain Reynolds refused to back down. With every strike and parry, she fought with a determination that bordered on madness, her every movement fueled by the memory of all that had been lost. And then, 
In a single decisive blow, she struck down her foe, the alien warrior falling to the ground with a resounding thud. With a triumphant cry, Captain Reynolds raised her weapon high, her victory a beacon of hope in the darkness. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded into silence, Captain Reynolds and her comrades stood victorious, their hearts filled with pride and determination. For in that moment, they had proven that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the spirit of humanity could never be extinguished. Chapter 5. The Price of Victory In the aftermath of their daring assault, the resistance fighters stood amidst the wreckage of the enemy outpost, their breaths coming in ragged gasps as they surveyed the scene before them. The air was thick with the acrid scent of smoke and the stench of battle, a grim reminder of the price they had paid for their victory. As they tended to their wounded and mourned their fallen comrades, Captain Sarah Reynolds felt a heavy weight settle upon her shoulders. Despite the triumph of their mission, the cost had been steep, and the faces of those they had lost haunted her thoughts like spectres in the night. Among the fallen was Lieutenant James Miller, a young recruit whose bravery and determination had inspired all who knew him. His loss was keenly felt by the members of the resistance, his memory a poignant reminder of the sacrifices they had made in the fight against the alien invaders. But even amidst the grief and sorrow, there was a sense of quiet determination that burned within their hearts, for in the face of adversity they had stood united, their spirits unbroken by the trials they had faced. With each passing day, the resistance fighters continued their struggle against the alien occupation, launching daring raids and staging ambushes against enemy patrols, with every victory they achieved, their confidence grew, their belief in the righteousness of their cause unwavering. But as they pushed deeper into enemy territory, they encountered increasingly fierce resistance from the alien invaders. The tide of battle ebbed and flowed like the currents of a raging river, each victory tempered by the knowledge that the ultimate price of victory was steep. Yet despite the odds stacked against them, Captain Reynolds and her comrades pressed on, their determination unyielding in the face of overwhelming adversity, for they knew that their fight was not just for themselves, but for the future of humanity itself. And so, as they prepared to face the challenges that lay ahead, they did so with a sense of purpose and resolve that burned brighter than the fiercest flame. For in the crucible of conflict, it is often the strength of the human spirit that shines the brightest, lighting the way towards a future free from tyranny and oppression. Chapter 6. Allies Amidst Adversity As the resistance fighters continued their struggle against the alien occupation, they found themselves facing increasingly dire circumstances. The enemy's forces grew more numerous and better equipped with each passing day, and the odds of victory seemed to dwindle with every battle. But amidst the despair and uncertainty, a ray of hope emerged in the form of unexpected allies. From the far reaches of the galaxy came a coalition of alien species who had long suffered under the yoke of the same oppressive regime that now held Earth in its grip. Led by Ambassador Talizora Vas Normandy, a member of the Quarian race renowned for their technical prowess, the alien coalition offered their support to the resistance fighters, eager to join forces in the fight against their common enemy. With their aid, Captain Sarah Reynolds and her comrades found themselves bolstered by the strength of unity as they forged alliances with species they had once considered enemies. Together they shared knowledge and resources, pooling their expertise to devise new strategies and tactics to combat the alien invaders. But even as they worked tirelessly to prepare for the battles that lay ahead, tensions simmered beneath the surface. Old rivalries and prejudices threatened to undermine the fragile bonds of trust that had been forged between the human resistance fighters and their alien allies. It was in those moments of doubt and mistrust that Captain Reynolds found herself tested like never before. With the weight of leadership bearing down upon her, she struggled to maintain the fragile balance between cooperation and conflict, knowing that the fate of humanity hung in the balance. But as she looked into the eyes of her comrades, human and alien alike, she saw the same determination and resolve reflected back at her. They had come too far and sacrificed too much to let, their differences tear them apart now. And so, with a renewed sense of purpose and unity, 
Captain Reynolds and her alias prepared to face their greatest challenge yet. For in the crucible of war, it is often in the bonds of friendship and solidarity that true strength is found, guiding them towards a future where freedom and justice reign supreme. Chapter 7 The Battle for Earth's Redemption As the combined forces of humanity and their alien allies rallied for their final assault against the alien occupiers, the fate of Earth hung in the balance like a fragile thread. The stage was set for a showdown of epic proportions, a battle that would determine the destiny of the planet and all who called it home. With Ambassador Talizora Vas Normandy at their side, Captain Sarah Reynolds and her comrades led the charge against the enemy's stronghold, their determination unyielding in the face of overwhelming odds. Their hearts pounded with a mixture of anticipation and fear as they braced themselves for the fight to come. As they clashed against the enemy's defences, the air crackled with the roar of gunfire and the thunderous boom of explosions. The battlefield became a chaotic maelstrom of smoke and fire as the forces of good and evil clashed in a struggle for supremacy. But even as the enemy fought with a ferocity born of desperation, Captain Reynolds and her allies refused to back down. With each step forward, they pushed deeper into enemy territory, their spirits unbroken by the hail of bullets that rained down upon them. Amidst the chaos of battle, Captain Reynolds found herself face to face with the alien commander, a towering behemoth clad in gleaming armor. With a defiant roar, she charged forward, her blade flashing in the dim light as she engaged the enemy in a fierce duel. But even as she fought with all her strength and skill, the alien commander proved to be a formidable opponent, matching her blow for blow with a skill and ferocity that belied his monstrous appearance. With each clash of their weapons, the ground shook beneath their feet, as if the very earth itself trembled in fear at the violence unfolding upon its surface. Yet despite the odds stacked against her, Captain Reynolds refused to give up. With a final desperate lunge, she delivered a decisive blow to the alien commander, his armor shattering like glass beneath the force of her assault. With a triumphant cry, Captain Reynolds watched as the enemy commander fell to the ground, defeated at last. And as the echoes of battle faded into silence, she knew that victory was within their grasp. Chapter 8 The Rebirth of Hope With the alien invaders defeated and Earth liberated from their oppressive grip, a sense of euphoria swept through the ranks of humanity and their alien allies. The streets that had once been shrouded in darkness were now bathed in the warm glow of victory as people emerged from hiding to celebrate their newfound freedom. Amidst the jubilant crowds, Captain Sarah Reynolds and her comrades stood as beacons of hope, their faces alight with joy and relief. For years they had fought tooth and nail against overwhelming odds, their determination unyielding in the face of adversity, and now their efforts had finally paid off. But even as they reveled in their hard-won victory, Captain Reynolds knew that the road ahead would not be easy. The scars of war ran deep, and the process of rebuilding would be long and arduous. Yet she was determined to see it through, for the sake of all those who had sacrificed so much in the fight for freedom. With the support of their alien allies, humanity set about the monumental task of rebuilding their shattered world. Cities once reduced to rubble were slowly restored to their former glory, as people worked together to rebuild their homes and their lives. But amidst the chaos of reconstruction, a sense of unity began to emerge as people from all walks of life came together to lend a helping hand. The divisions that had once torn them apart were slowly but surely being erased, replaced by a sense of common purpose and shared destiny. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the scars of war began to fade, replaced by the green shoots of hope and renewal. And amidst the ruins of the old world, a new society began to take shape, one built not on the ashes of the past, but on the dreams of a brighter future. For Captain Reynolds and her comrades, the battle may have been won, but the war was far from over, yet as they looked towards the horizon, they did so with a sense of optimism and determination, knowing that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, united in their commitment to building a better world for generations to come. Chapter 9 a new beginning. 
With the scars of war fading into memory, humanity and their alien allies embarked on a new chapter in their shared history. The world that emerged from the ashes of conflict was one of unity and cooperation, where the lessons of the past guided them towards a future filled with hope and promise. Under the leadership of Captain Sarah Reynolds, now hailed as a hero of the people, Earth flourished like never before. The bonds forged in the crucible of war remained unbreakable, as humanity and their alien allies worked side by side to build a world where peace and prosperity reigned supreme. As the years passed, new generations emerged, born into a world free from the shadow of oppression. They grew up knowing only the stories of the brave men and women who had fought to protect their freedom, their sacrifices never forgotten, and amidst the bustling cities and verdant landscapes of their home planet, humanity looked towards the stars once more, their dreams of exploration and discovery reignited by the promise of a brighter future. With each passing day, they ventured further into the cosmos, exploring new worlds and forging new alliances with civilizations both old and new. And as they journeyed into the unknown, they carried with them the lessons of their past, ensuring that the mistakes of history would never be repeated. But even as they charted a course towards the stars, they never forgot the struggles that had brought them to this moment. For in the end, it was their resilience, their determination, and their unwavering belief in the power of hope that had carried them through the darkest of times. And so as they looked towards the horizon, they did so with a sense of optimism and excitement, knowing that the journey ahead would be filled with challenges and triumphs alike. But no matter what lay in store, they faced the future together, united in their commitment to building a better world for themselves and for generations to come.